JJ and Mikey's families are excited for an important delivery. But little do they know, it's about to be attacked by pirate zombies. So we have to build a secure cargo ship to make sure that their package arrives safely on time. Pip, this is really bad. JJ and Mikey wanted to see their package so bad that they came to the boat that it's on. Wait, 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 wait. is that a bad thing? Yes, it is, Pip, because now they're in danger. We can't get back to shore. And once the sun goes down, pirate zombies are going to come and attack us. Pirate zombies? Oh, no. We need to get building. Good idea, Pip. I think I'm going to build the biggest and craziest cargo ship ever in Minecraft. Oh, no, you won't, Louie. I'll be building the best boat in Minecraft. We'll see about that. You know what? I'm going to build a boat to protect JJ's family. And you build a boat to protect Mike. Mikey's. Mikey's family is safe with me. I really doubt that. Do you remember what happened last time you built a boat? It blew off. You're just jealous that I'm always beating you in these build challenges. I think the word beating is an understatement, Pip. I really don't believe you're going to beat me. I'm building an insane boat right now. I need to make sure it's big enough to fit a ton of cargo on the top. After all, this is going to be a cargo ship. Really good luck. There's a reason you've never beaten me. What do you mean a reason I've never beaten you. I always beat you in build challenges. That changes today. Yeah, we will see about that, Pip. I'm building the front of my cargo ship. These ships are usually very, very flat. They need to carry a lot of people's packages. Louie, I'm making my boat square. You're building a boat square shape? Are you sure that's a good idea? Yep, Louie, just like my favorite sponge. Don't tell me you're building a square boat just because you like SpongeBob. Yeah, Louie, my favorite sponge. Batman! Batman isn't a sponge! You know what? You are very weird sometimes. I have absolutely no idea what you're trying to do. But I guess that's good. Because if the zombies don't know what you're doing, then I guess your base would have a good chance of surviving. I'm just going to build up the bottom of my ship now. This area underneath has to be solid so that the boat will float. That's why I'm building it out of black concrete. Because black concrete is super strong and won't let anything pass. Meaning those pirate zombies are going to be trying to get into my base. And they never will. Because my base is going to be insane. Wait, I'm starting to realize maybe a square boat doesn't look very good. So how about I make this shape like a V? Wait, you're making a V-shaped boat? I guess that is a better idea. After all, my boat is kind of shaped like a U. And that shape works very well inside of the water. Did you know that most boats look like a letter U or a letter V? Wait, can I make a letter X boat? I don't really know. I don't think I've ever seen a boat that looks like a letter X before. Maybe that is a good idea. I think I'll make my boat an X shape. Good luck with that, Pip. I definitely can't wait to see what your boat looks like when it's done. I am building up the front and the back of my ship right now. It's kind of like a rectangle shape. And it does have a lot of holes in it that I will need to patch in a moment. Let me just go ahead and build up this boat shape first, though. Whoa, Louie, your boat is looking very big. Don't look at my boat. You might get jealous. What do you mean? Don't look at your boat. Give me a second, Pip. Let me just build this boat up like this, and I will see what it looks like. No, you don't have to do that, Louie. You can just work on your boat right over there. What do you mean, don't look at it? Give me a second, Pip. I won't be a moment, okay? No, no, please, don't look at it. Oh, let me look at this thing. And wait a second. What is this, Pip? It kind of looks like a staircase going down into the ocean. Oh, you, Louie, it's an X shape. I don't think that's an X shape. It kind of looks like a slanted A. Or maybe even an R. If you look at it from the other side. I'm working on it. All right, Pip. I'll let you work on your boat. But it better be good enough to protect Mikey and JJ. Or else I'll be very disappointed. Don't worry, Louie. I'm going to prove you that the X-shaped boat is the best-shaped boat. All right. We'll see about that, Pip. But right now, I'm building up the whole of my ship. Just look at this. I am using Pro World Edit command to be able to build up the shape of this thing. It's looking really good. The outside of your boat does look good, but it's not what's on the outside that matters. It's on the inside that matters. You always say that, Pip. I don't know about you. I'm pretty sure what's on the outside matters too. If your boat is not strong enough to survive,
survive. Then the zombies will break in and kill everyone. My boat might not look good, but it will have a good personality. I don't think personality matters when you've got a boat, Pip. But I guess you're kind of right. I'm almost done with the whole of my ship now. I'm getting very close to being able to actually put some rooms and traps in here. After all, Pip, we need to be able to stop those zombies. If they invade the boat, it's pretty much over for Mikey and JJ. They will never be able to see what they got in their package. You're right, Louie. I might need to hire some security guards. Wait, security guards? Please don't tell me you'll be hiring snow golems like you always do. Of course not, Louie. I'm not dumb. Wait, then what would you put as security guards in your base? No women. No women? Pip, that's just snowmen, but women. Maybe the women are better security guards. I don't know about you, Pip. I don't even know if they're snowmen or snow women. They're just snow people right now. Well, I don't feel like checking. Yeah, I guess you are right there, Pip. I have now created the shape of my ship. Now it's time to actually make this thing look like a cargo ship. So let me get some sponges and hollow this thing out. We need as much space on the inside as possible. Let's go ahead and add all of these sponges in. This is a very difficult job. It might actually sink if there's too much water inside. Let me just get some of these sponges and spam them throughout this boat. Hopefully that should do. And wait, it's filling back up. Are you kidding me? No, we can't be having that. Let me go ahead and get rid of a lot more of this water. There are so many sponges right now. It takes a lot more than I thought. Come on, just a few more. And done. Look at all of that in there. We have all of this space to build everything inside of this boat. You know what? I don't know if I like this black colored underside of my cargo ship. I think I'm going to turn it red. So let me get rid of all of these sponges first. And we can get started on changing the color. And customizing this ship. I'm just removing a few more of these sponges and then I will be ready. There we go. Let's make this thing red now. So I'm going to use some admin commands. I replace the nearest 100 black concrete blocks with red concrete, it should look like this. Whoa! Now it's time to actually put a roof on this thing so that it looks like a real cargo ship. So let me set this to black concrete just like that. And then I'll take these inside blocks and set them to white. Let's go ahead and do that. And boom. Look at this. It looks just like a cargo ship would. On the bottom at least. But now it's time to add crates to our cargo ship. Because after all, what is a cargo ship without crates on it? Let's go ahead and build some areas going up to stop all all of the cargo from falling out. Then let's build some shapes. This diagonal shape will make sure that none of the cargo will fall out. It will kind of act like a grid that stops any square shapes from falling out. Now I can go back down in this zigzag shape. This looks pretty good. Let's also connect it up to the ground like that. That's looking pretty cool. Now I'll just get the top and connect them up like this. That shape will definitely stop any of the cargo from falling out. Let's now just copy and paste that on the other side. So, let's go over here. Slash, slash, paste. And now, we have both sides of the cargo ship ready to go. Oh, Pip, how is your cargo ship coming along? It's coming along beautifully, Louie. Are you sure? It's kind of looking like an underwater X at the moment. Exactly. That's what it is. But how is this going to look like a boat? It kind of just looks like a sunken ship. Don't worry, Louie. I'm going to make the top super big. You go ahead and do that. I'm going to start adding some crates to my cargo ship. So let me go to my creative inventory. And search the word crate. I can take these too. Look at this guy. I can put a white crate right here. Then I can make it as big as I want. As you guys know, crates on cargo ships are quite long. So I'll do it in this shape. I'm pretty sure this will fit. Now I want to make the colors of the crate different as the cargo ship goes up. I also think I'll make some rooms inside of these cargo crates. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you think I should add some security inside of these crates. But while you guys are commenting, I'm going to keep building up all of these crates like this and making a ton of rooms to go on my cargo ship. This looks really cool. I think I have a quicker way to build these too. Look at this, guys. If I build all of these up by three blocks just 
like this, I can go ahead and use admin commands to fill these in. So let me get an axe like this. I'll grab both of these sides. And now I can copy from here and then paste as I walk back. And it will build all of these crates like this. Now I can do the same thing, but a lot faster. Watch this. If I copy here. And now when I walk back, one, two, three, one, two, three blocks, I can paste in all of these crates like this in a nice grid pattern. Let me just do that again. Like yes. And boom. We have a ton of crates on our ship. This is looking awesome. Let's just go ahead and copy all of these crates and bring them up into the sky. So let me copy them right here and then bring them up. And now if I go over here and paste it in, and as you can see, it builds up this ship really cool looking. Just like this. Look at all of those crates on this cargo ship. Doesn't this look awesome, guys? I can also go ahead and copy these in and add a few areas where the crates are different sizes. If I paste one in here, and then one up here, and then one all the way down in here, we can make it look like there's a ton of crates that are different sizes on the ship. But now we have all of these crates, it's time for me to do something really cool. If I go to both sides and then use the command slash slash hollow. As you can see, if I go over here, there's a ton of space inside of these crates. Now we just fill in all of these gaps that it might have missed. Just like this. And we have a massive room inside of this ship. We can go ahead and fit a ton of traps into here. What traps do you guys think I should add? Comment down below. Now look at this, guys. If I go in here, we have a massive room to build everything on the inside. I'm going to place a nice safe room for JJ's family. It will be right here at the back. Let me go ahead and build up a wall. Pip, are you adding a safe room as well for Mikey's family? Of course I am, Louie. I'm just working on clearing out all the water in my ship. You're clearing out water still? I've already done that and more. Well, I'm doing a very complicated build, Louie. You noobs wouldn't understand. Hey, wait a second. You're calling me a noob? Pip, come on. You always lose at these build challenges. You're the noob in anything. No, I'm not, Louie. You can clearly see my build is way better than yours. I need to see this build more clearly. Ew, what is this supposed to be? It's my X-shaped cargo boat. I don't know about you, Pip, but this thing does not look like it would float. Oh, yeah, Louie. Have you ever seen an X-shaped ship in your life? No, I've never seen one like this. I think that's for a reason. They all probably sank to the bottom of the ocean. No, they didn't, Louie. They just weren't brave enough to think outside the box. Yeah, because most ships that are shaped like boxes don't sink, Pip, like this one. Yours is going to probably hit an iceberg and sink. I really don't think it will, Pip. Just you wait and see. Pip, I have no time to look at your boat. How it's going to sink. I need to build my safe room for Mikey and JJ. Or just JJ. Yeah, Louie, get your wandering eyes off my ship. What do you mean wandering eyes? I don't think my eyes would look at your ship even if they were wandering. You're just jealous. No, I'm not jealous. After all, I have an absolutely beautiful cargo ship and you don't. What's enough of that? I need to build up my room. So what I'm going to do is use some glass so that JJ will be able to see outside at all times in case any of those zombies get inside. Just so none of those zombies actually do get inside, I'm going to go ahead and secure this room with a keypad door with the code 1234. This means the zombies will not be able to get inside and attack Mikey and JJ unless they have the passcode. But now it's actually time to give them their own room because this is a safe room after all. So I'll have one room over here for Mikey and I'll add a big green wall out of glass. This way, if Mikey is in danger, I will be able to see. Then I will add a red room just on the opposite side. This will be the room that JJ stays in. Let's go ahead and start on JJ's room. This one is the most easy because JJ is just like me. I'll go ahead and get a red bed, a red chair, a sofa, and a TV. I'll also get this red TV stand and some bookshelves. JJ loves to read. I'm going to make a really cool bedroom design that you guys can copy. All you need is some sandstone slab and some bookshelves. Just place the sandstone like this and to have it coming off like that in a kind of round shape. These top blocks should be full blocks and then go down to a sandstone slab like that. Now all you need to do is add your bed. So I'll add two beds for Mikey and maybe his little brother to sleep in. So I'll add a bed right here and I'll also add another bed on top of it. This is going to be a triple bunk bed for JJ's entire family. Let's build up out of these sandstone slabs 
naps now. And that is where they will sleep. On top of these bookshelves. Now, let me go ahead and get these stripped oak logs. This is going to work as a table so that they can have whatever they want on here. And it will also double as a kitchen so that they are able to cook whatever food they like. What food do you guys like the most? I absolutely love steak pie. And if you guys like steak, or steak pies as well, then make sure to subscribe because you can be part of the Louis Legends. We are trying to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month. But enough of that. It's time to add all of the entertainment for Mikey and JJ. I put a TV on top of a TV stand. And now I'm going to get a sofa that JJ can sit on. I'll put it right here. Just in front of the doorway inside. So we have a little walkway inside of this room. And then finally, they need a way to get up to their bed. So I'll place it right here. With a ladder on the side. Boom, 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 boom. This room is looking awesome. Now it's time for Mikey's room. And I'm not too familiar with Mikey. I don't know what Mikey would like. Maybe I should ask Pip. Pip, can you come over to my cargo ship really quickly? Why should I go to your ship, Louie? I think you're just trying to waste my time. No, I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm really struggling. I don't know what Mikey likes. Can you help me? Just put video games or something. Well, just come and help me. You can place some blocks inside if you want. Place some blocks inside? Okay, Louie, I'm on my way. All right, come on in, Pip. As you can see, I've built a room for JJ. I don't know what Mikey would like. Would you like to help me with this room? Sure thing, Louie. I can already imagine this bedroom is going to look amazing. Yep. How about this? I will add the bed to you. Do all of the decorations and show me what you can make. I think I'll put the beds right here in the middle. Let's build around them. Oh, Louis, the first thing I would add to Mikey's bedroom is some showers. Wait, so let's showers? Just put some showers up here. And now Mikey can take a turtle bath. Wait a second. If they turn those showers on, their beds will get wet. They won't be comfortable anymore. I mean, don't turtles live in the water anyways? Oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Louie, just don't question my knowledge on Mike. I know exactly what he loves. I guess you know that's mainly because you're a noob and Mikey's a noob as well. No, not that. It's because I hang around Mikey all the time. Uh, I guess that makes sense. You and Mikey are best friends. Just like me and you. Yeah, but sometimes I like Mikey more. What? Hey! Mikey loves playing Minecraft, so I need to make sure I make him his computer. All right. Wait, did you say computer? Pooter? Yeah, his compooper. Ew, compooper. No, we can't be giving Mikey a compooper. Don't worry, Louie. It will be fine. Let's just put his chair down, then his compooper. Uh, wait a second. Why did you put the computer on the floor? Mikey's a turtle, so he loves playing his computer when he's lying down on his belly. I guess that makes sense. Well, what else should we put in this room? I just added some popcorn on top of Mikey's computer so he can eat while playing Minecraft. Well, popcorn is really unhealthy if you eat too much of it. Are you sure Mikey will be healthy on the ship? Mikey will be just fine, Louie. Like I said, stop questioning me. All right, Pip, how about this? We have the beds and the entertainment, but now we need food that isn't popcorn. We need something healthy. Does Mikey eat anything healthy in this ship? Of course, Louie. I've got plenty of healthy food he can eat. All right, Pip, place it all down. All right, I put a chest right here. Let me get some really healthy food for Mikey. What are you going to put inside? Some steak? Salad? Maybe some apples? Red ones, please. Yeah, something like that. Okay, well, let me go in this chest and see what you put. I'll put it down in a sec. Let me get some of this and boom. Let's put it all in here. Wait a second. Pip, what is this? Raw pork chop, rotten flesh, hot dogs, cake, and popcorn, and burgers. That isn't healthy. Well, maybe the pumpkin is. Well, pumpkin is kind of healthy to eat, but you can't just eat it as a pumpkin. You need to cook it. Fine. Let me just throw one more thing in there. Okay, I put it in glass. Mikey really enjoys glass. Wait, glass? Are you kidding me? I guess I can't judge your knowledge on Mikey, Pip, but this room is looking complete. It's looking kind of boring. Let me just add some paintings to spice it up. Maybe a TV as well. Let me just put some paintings around here of Mikey's favorite thing. You can't forget about the TV. Mikey doesn't want one TV. He wants all of them. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. You know what? I guess this room will work, Pip. Yep, he wants the whole wall covered in TV. How do you know that? Oh, my gosh. 
gosh, that's so many, and it's so glitchy. You never have too many TVs, Louie. Do you think this is enough TVs, or should I put more? Let me take a look. I think that's enough TVs, Pip. How about this? You've now helped me with this room, so how about you go back to your ship, and let's keep building. I mean, when I make the bedrooms, do you want to work on JJ's bedroom? I guess so. Go back to your base, Pip, and I'll help you when you're ready. All right, let me just leave a little gift for you, and bye-bye. Wait a second. You just put a dock inside of my base. You know what? I guess I'll keep him. His name is Jeff now. We have both of the bedrooms now ready to go for Mikey and JJ. Now, we need some traps in order to stop those zombies from attacking. I want to have traps going down this entire hallway. So let's go ahead and build that. First, I need to make an entrance to this ship. So I'll make it right here. We need to make it secure. So I'll put a keypad door. Let's just grab that and boom, boom, put down a passcode on each door. That'll be one, two, three, four. Now, once you're inside, I'm actually going to go ahead and place down a floor that you can walk on. So I'll make that out of white concrete like this. I want the entrance to the hallway going to Mikey and JJ's room to be right here. This will let me inside. And I should be able to climb up some ladders and see Mikey and JJ's rooms in the distance. Now, all I need to do is just add a ladder going up to the top. And then some traps that stop those pirate zombies from getting there. Oh, Pip, I really hope those zombies don't get here. I really need Mikey and JJ to be alive. It should be fine. At least I know I'll be fine with my bulletproof glass. Let me see this thing. That's not bulletproof. Pip, watch this. Are you ready? If that is bulletproof, yeah. then if I shoot this glass, it shouldn't break, right? Yeah, of course, Louie. All right, let me give it a shot and... Oh, Pip, I think the glass broke. Um, no, it it's still there. Shoot it again. Let me try I'll again. Show you. And boop, boop. I just broke, like, all of your glass on your boat. Why are you shooting all my glass, Louie? You said it was bulletproof. I was just checking. Oh, my gosh, I shot Pip. Louie, why did you shoot me? Oh, I didn't mean to, Pip. It just went off by accident. Let me actually put this gun away. I'm replacing all this glass. All right, Pip. While you do that, I need to work on some traps. So let me go ahead and do that. On the inside, I definitely want a laser trap that stops all of those zombies from getting inside. And this can be easily made by using trip wires. It's gonna be mental. Now all I need is some lasers. After I get these trip wires, of course. Now what I need is some string. So watch this, guys. If I place some blocks like this just in a wall, I can go ahead and make this laser trap. I'll just place these trip wires in this area here. So they are hidden from the zombies. Now I'll just connect them up with some string. As you can see, all of these trip wires are now set and ready to go. If I step on one, it will activate the trip wires. What I'm going to do now is put some lasers on these walls. And now when I step on a tripwire, it should activate the lasers. Whoa! That is really cool. And it definitely will stop those zombies from getting inside. But just in case it doesn't, I need another trap. So I'm going to have some traps going down this hallway all the way to these ladders. So let me build a wall this way. The zombies won't be able to climb out if they get inside. They will have to go through the traps. And that is what I want to happen. But now, guys, what I want to do is add some lava parkour going through this ship. As you can see, there's some lava I placed on the ground. And zombies do not know how to do lava parkour. Which means we have a very good chance of being able to stop them here. Let me just make some very, very difficult jumps. Like this one, this one. And then I'll do one on this side, and one on this side. But watch this, guys. I'm going to set this one on the right to be a ghost block. Meaning if I jump onto it, I'll fall through into the lava. Hopefully, that will catch the zombies off. God. But I know the real block is there because it's on the left. And left stands for Louie. It also stands for legend. So subscribe to become a Louie legend. I wonder what Pip's up to. Now I'm going to add these doors that will lead to Mikey and JJ's room. Right now I have JJ's room empty because I'm going to let Louie work on it. But look what I've got in Mikey's bedroom. I'm still adding to it. But right now I've got three beds for each of Mikey's family members. And of course, he can't forget the showers because who doesn't love taking a shower while sleeping? Comment down below if you take a shower while sleeping. Now it's time to add a TV and a PC. So let's go ahead and get a cool TV. Put that up there. And then we're going to put Mikey's setup right below the TV. Let's get a chair and get a really cool desk. So we can put Mikey's PC on it. Just put the chair right here. Put the PC right there. 
forget about the actual PC tower. Otherwise, Mikey's PC won't work. He would be very mad at me. But now, let's go ahead and add some food to Mikey's room. Put this chest down, but there's nothing in it. So let's go ahead and put a bunch of rotten flesh seeds. And what would Mikey like? Probably cake. Well, I love cake and seeds and rotten flesh. And so Mikey should love the same things as me, I think. Let's just put the cake in here. And let's even put a cake in his room for good measure. But it's still looking a little bit dry. Look at how much blank space is on this wall. Let's just get a painting like this. Put this up here. And look, he's got a Donkey Kong painting. But Mikey loves video games, so I think he'll love this. The last thing I want to add is a Nintendo Switch so Mikey can play Super Duck Bros on the TV. So let's just add the cobblestone so we can put the Nintendo Switch and we can play. So what game are we going to play? How about we play Farm Simulator? Oh, I love Farming Simulator. But now I think it's time to go get Louie to work on his part of the room. Well, it better be good, otherwise JJ would be super sad. Oh, Louie, are you ready to work on JJ's side of my ship? Oh, yeah, of course I am, Pip. Guys, I have a really good idea. Don't tell Pip, but I'm going to ruin JJ's room inside of his base. So his base is worse than mine. <laughs> Let's go over there now. Sorry, Pip, I was just talking to myself. Doing? Come in, Louie. So here's your room for JJ. And you can do whatever you want because you know JJ best. Oh, yeah, I totally know JJ best. So watch this, Pip. Well, first all right. of all, we are going to go ahead and add one bed because the entire of the family sleeps on that single bed right there. Just one bed. Don't you need at least two more? No, 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 no. Listen, JJ's family, the entire family, all three of them, love to sleep on the same bed on top of each other. That seems a little tight, but I guess I'll trust you, Louie. All right, but then listen to this, Pip. Whenever JJ needs to get up in the morning, he needs something really stinky to wake him up because alarm clocks don't work. So let me just go ahead and put a poop right <gasps> next to his bed. Wait, Louie, maybe this is a really good idea. Well, I should do this for Mikey's room. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and do that, Pip. <laughs> this is so funny, guys. The worse I make JJ's room, the worse Pip's gonna make Mikey's room. Which means I have the best chance of winning this build challenge. All right, let's... Oh, Pip, sorry. Uh, how much of that did you hear? Nothing, Louie. I was just putting this mysterious pile of dirt in Mikey's room. Oh, good, good. Definitely very, very good. All right, but listen to this, Pip. You know Mikey loves water, right? Yeah, Mikey loves to swim in water. Does JJ? Yeah, because Mikey and JJ are best friends. JJ loves to have waterfalls inside of his room. So let me just fill mm, it with water. Waterfalls are so cool, Louis. The best part is when JJ plays Minecraft with Mikey, he loves to have his PC right in the water like this. His computer in the water? Oh, that's such a good idea. Yep, if your PC is in the water, it doesn't mean it's going to break. It just means it's better. Yeah, now it's waterproof. I think I'm going to do that in Mikey's room now. All right. Go ahead, Pip. Guys, listen to me. Do not put your computer or any electronic devices in water. That is a terrible idea. And you will break them. I only said that to Pip so that he would ruin his base. You know what's better than PC in water? How about my whole room in water? What other genius ideas should we put in JJ's room? Well, I only have one more. And that is to put a big pile of dirt in JJ's room. And then get some item frames and get JJ's favorite food. Rotten flesh. Now let me put all of that in there. I put rotten flesh in Mikey's room as well, Louie. Oh, you must know JJ so well. Yeah, I totally know JJ really well. He would love that room. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Come look at Mikey's room. All right, let me take a look. And uh, Pip, there's uh, water in here. Yeah. Well, you said I should put the computer in water. I thought, you know what? I might as well put the whole room in water. Well, I guess this is okay. Yeah, yeah I don't think you need those showers anymore. These showers are really weird. You would think showers would give you water, but you go into the shower, it takes you out of the water. Well, maybe it's just a shower of air. Probably so you can breathe. JJ would like to be in this room, too. Well, I guess that makes sense. Mikey and JJ's room are looking awesome! Yeah, thanks for letting
letting me help you build it, Pip. But I need to keep working on my traps. Well, you're right, Louie. What traps should we put? I'm not sure right now. I've added some lava parkour and lasers inside of mine. I still have some more traps I need to put. Louie, I have a good idea. How about I just break a piece of this dirt? Now all the zombies fall into the water. Well, Pip, that is a good idea since zombies can't swim. But if they're in the water for too long, they'll turn into drowns. And they'll swim into your base with tridents. That's exactly what I'm doing, Louie. I want them to drown. Okay, Pip. Well, you enjoy drowning the zombies and uh, see what happens when that happens. But anyways, I need to build another trap inside of my base. I have the perfect idea. Let me get some dispensers and I can show you guys what I'm about to do. Take a look at this. If I go all the way back here and place down some dispensers, I can go ahead and fill them up with arrows. And I am going to make an arrow machine gun. Just follow along if you want to make one too. So let's place all of these dispensers in a wall like this. Now, all I have to do is go around the back and power them all at the same time. This is easily done. All you need is some redstone repeaters and redstone and some white wool. Oh. Place it exactly like I am right place here. Place some repeaters going into this block. Power this top row. Then place some more repeaters into this and block. Power this bottom row. All you have to do now is just place some repeaters on this row next to the middle ones. And then do the same thing. Place the repeaters on the bottom facing into this block. Now, when you power anything going into one of these blocks, it'll power everything. All I have to do is get some redstone dust like this. And then you just have to place glass on the back of all of these blocks so that you can connect all the redstone together like this. Now, let's go around the back and get some observer. This will allow me to rapid fire the machine gun. I just need to have this observer go into this block right here. And now, watch this. If I put it right here, it'll shoot the machine gun. But I need to stop it very quickly because I want it to work only when I press a button. So let's get some white wool leather and then place it on the side. Now, it should put that there and rapid fire the gun. Now, guys, we have a working redstone machine gun. If I press this, it fires all the arrows out of it like crazy. But I need to make sure that these arrows only come out when the zombies attack. So I'll leave it right here. But now it's time for the second floor of traps. This has to definitely stop those zombies. Or else Mikey and JJ will be in a world of pain and trouble. So let's build another hallway going all the way down here. I'll make one wall going all the way down like this. This is going to be the hallway that stops the zombies. If it doesn't, I'll be really sad. JJ and Mikey might die. And then it will be all my fault. But here we go. We have a nice longer hallway. Now it's time to make some traps. I think right at the end over here, I will make a trap that drops the zombies into the lava pit I made before. That was right over here, I'm pretty sure. There we go. All I have to do is just make a piston trap. So let's get some pistons and place them right here. I'll also place them on the roof here. Now I need something called a redstone link. And this allows me to make wireless redstone. I'm going to make it so that all of these pistons shoot out only when I press a button. Let me set all of these up just like this. And now all I have to do is just have a button all the way over here. And let's make this one activate the machine. If I go ahead and get a lever now and press it, all of those pistons will open up and I can place some blocks inside. As you guys can see, this just looks like a little dip in the ground you can walk through. When I press this lever right here, it will open up and they'll fall into the lava. It's perfect. I think to also make these zombies fall a little bit further down, I'll add these glass trap doors so they might not see them and trip over the edge. This is a perfect pitfall trap. Now I need one more trap, guys. And I have just a perfect idea. I'll do a would you rather course. The zombies will have to answer the correct question to not die. I'll make three questions just like this. And let's put some signs down. I'll put one sign here. Would you rather? And I'll make the text white so it's very easy to see. I'll put it on every single one of these signs going down there. But first, I'm going to make some would you rather questions. So let's see. The first one will be would you rather be a zombie or be a human? This one is a really easy question. As you guys know, only people who want to be a human like me and 
and Pip would want to go through this one. Meaning this is the right answer. The wrong answer is this one. Being a zombie is just what a zombie would say. I'll put some ghost blocks down. And the zombies will fall in. And fall back down in front of my machine gun. Now it's time to add another would you rather question. This one should be a little bit more difficult. Would you rather eat brains? Or would you rather eat a steak? If you guys didn't know, zombies love to eat brains. So they will definitely go through this answer. And I can make them fall down and die. Oh. If they want to eat a steak like me, then they can go through this door and survive. But now it's time for the last would you rather question. And I think I'm going to put... Would you rather subscribe to Louie? Or would you rather fight 1,000 zombies? And if you guys didn't know, you should just subscribe to me right now. Because fighting 1,000 zombies is very hard. The zombies probably won't want to subscribe to me anyway. So they will fall down into the lava. Perfect. I think all of my traps are ready. I think I should get JJ into this cargo ship right now. Oh, JJ, where are you? Let me just get outside and bring him in. Come on, JJ, we have to go to the room. And now my kitchen is complete. Oh, this kitchen looks so good. Oh, wait, I forgot a stove. Let me just put that real quick. And now my kitchen is finally complete. I'm missing one room, and I don't know how I almost forgot it. I need to put the bathroom. Let's just build up a little bit of a cobblestone wall in the middle of my ship. And this is going to be a crazy bathroom. And let's just build it like this. And then we're going to put a door on the bathroom. Because when you're making a bathroom, you need to make sure everyone has privacy. And now we put a door. So now everyone using the bathroom has privacy. Now let's just work on the bathroom. Let's put a mirror right there. Put a sink in the corner as well as a toilet. And then we need to add the shower. Because we need to make sure whoever is on this ship, Mikey and JJ, can take a a shower. And last but not least, let's go ahead and add a bathtub. Because I love taking a bird bath in my cargo ship. And I'm even holding a bathtub. Now let's just put a little cherry on top with a painting and a flower pot. Let's just put that painting right there and the flower pot can go right there. Now the mirror doesn't work, but it's fine. And my bathroom is amazing. Wait, the sun! It's going down, which means the moon is coming up. And I need to be prepared to fight zombies, but I don't even have an armory room. So where should I build an armory room? How about I build it downstairs? My engine's right here, powered by duck poop. And then the duck poop powers these wheels. And then my ship can move. I think I should build my armor stands right here in the corner next to my farm. Because in case the duck poop doesn't work, the farm will act as power to power my cargo ship. But when making an armory, I need to make sure I have the best armor in the game. Louie said something about weather armor being the best. So I'm going to use that. I'll put it right here and put the weather armor on the armor stand. And I can't forget about the weapons I'm going to use. So I need to make sure I have a chest for which I can put weapons and food in. Now let's just get, how about a wood sword? I hear that. That's pretty good. Let's put that in here. And I need to be able to hit zombies from far away. So let's go ahead and get a bow and a bunch of arrows. My armory is looking really good. Let's just get some food. By getting some seeds and some bread. Because seeds make wheat. And with wheat, you can make bread. Bread is super tasty. Let's just put that here in the chest. And now my armory is complete, guys. I just realized I haven't even gotten Mikey's family in their bedroom. Come on, Mikey's family. You need to get in the bedroom right now. And now Mikey's family is in their bedroom. I hope they enjoy the water. And oh, no. Are they drowning? Oh, no. I thought they were turtles. I thought they could swim in water. Okay, well, I put a sponge down to get rid of some of the water. Now they're having a great time. I wonder what Louie's up to. There we go. I've just created an awesome armory room to fight off those zombies. Wait a second. Whoa. It's so dark out here. <laughs> Pip, why didn't you tell me? I thought you were prepared, Louie, like you always are. Oh, well, don't worry. I am prepared. It's a good thing I was just building my armory. You know what? Let's get inside and put our armor on right now. I need to 
to get all of this netherite armor on, ready for the zombie invasion. Let's get my bow, some sword, and a ton of golden apples. And I just forgot, I need some arrows too. There we go. Wait a second. Pip, did you just get put into survival mode? Yeah, I did, Louie. Does that mean what I think it means? I think it does, Pip. If we just go outside, there's a ton of zombies. <gasps> They're taking over the raft pit. We've got to shoot them. Hurry. Luckily, they're falling into my cobweb. Yeah, that is a very good trap, Pip. Good job. And wait a second. It seems like there's some zombies and creepers spawning in my base. That is really dangerous. And Pip, look at your front door. It's being taken over. Don't worry, Louie. I think I can hold them off. Are you sure? It seems like you're taking a little bit of damage. Just a little bit, Louie. I'm a pro. I can kill all of these zombies by myself. All right, all right, Pip, let me come in and help you. Take this, zombies. I'm here. Take this, zombies. Get out of here. Look, Pip, it's working. All of those zombies are floating down to the bottom of the ocean and drowning. But That's even worse. They're turning into drowns now, and they can swim. Look how many drowns there are under there. This is really dangerous. What are we going to do, Louie? We have to do what we always were supposed to do. Protect Mikey and JJ. Mikey's family should be in here. Pip, this is really bad. I just got knocked into the water with all these drones. Look how many there are. Louie, there's a swarm of them around Whoa! you. And a sea monster. I'm trying to shoot them from all the way over here. I'm scared, Pip. I'm in the ocean with a ton of scary monsters. Sharks and sea creatures. I'm trying to shoot them for you, Louie. These zombies are killing me. Wait, they're getting into your base. This is terrible. We need to get Mikey out of there ASAP. All right, Louie, get in here quick. Let's move Mikey. All right, come on. Mikey, get out of there. We don't have time to spare. We need to get to my cargo ship. Oh, come on, guys. Come if you want to live. All right, Pip. Mikey is now following me. We need to get him out of this room and into my cargo ship. Hurry. Get out of the way, zombies. Oh, I'll distract the zombies for you, Louie. Just get Mikey to safety. All right, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. We need to get through all of these zombies. Oh, Mikey is following me. It looks like he's trying to, Louie. There's a blockade of zombies. Yeah, there's a ton of them. And cobwebs in the way. We need to attack them right now. Get rid of the zombies. All right, come on. Let's open up the front door of my base and get inside. We need to run through these lasers. Hurry. I'm coming, Louie. Just move these zombies out of the way. And no, I'm really low. Don't worry, Pip. Just eat a golden apple. Get in here. Hurry. I didn't put any golden apples in my cargo ship. Well, then come to mine. I have like 50 stacks of them for you. I'm trying, Louie. Let me just get over there. I think I'm in the clear. Come on, Pip. Hurry. And make sure to go around the side of the laser so you don't die. Louie, I've made it. And oh, no. There's so many zombies. Run, Pip. Here. Grab these golden apples and eat them. Hurry. Oh, look, Pip. My laser trap is working. Wait a second. It just stopped. Why isn't it working anymore? The baby zombies don't die in your trap, Louie. Oh, this is terrible. Pip. Hurry up. Follow me. We need to get through my lava trap. Hurry. I'm through it. Hopefully, these zombies will die inside of it. Look out, Pip. Look how many zombies there are. They are going to try and eat our brains. We cannot have this. But they're dying in the lava. I know. My lava parkour trap was a success. It seems like the zombies really can't do lava parkour. All right, Pip. And whoa, <gasps> what just happened? Wait, what? They're levitating. I don't know how that just happened, but this is bad. The zombies are in the base. Turn the machine gun on, Pip. Hurry. How do I do that? Press the lever on the back. This lever. Go, go, go. Machine gun. And it seems to Die, be working. Zombies. It's doing tons of damage and killing tons of zombies. Good job, Pip. All right, let's turn this thing off now. All right, Pip. Whoa, there still seems to be a ton of zombies. You know what? I think we need to retreat. Come on back here. Follow me. Let's go up. All right, let's do the would you rather. Hurry. Let's be a human. Eat steaks. And subscribe to Louie. Let's see if these zombies know the right answers. And wait, what? They do? <gasps> Hurry, Pip. Jump over. Hurry. I'm here. All right, let's get this pitfall trap working. If I set it, I'll jump in. And then fall. And we can kill the rest that come across. Boop, boop. Oh, it fell in. And now they're all down there. Oh, you're such a genius, Louie. These traps are OP. Yep, they are. Wait a second. Where's Mikey's family? Check the room. Maybe they went ahead of us. All right, Pip. One, two, three, four. Let's get in there. And Wait, no way. <gasps> they're alive. Oh, my gosh. Mikey's family is so smart. 
I know. I thought we lost them to the zombies. Apparently, but... Mikey's more of a pro than we thought. Yeah, Louie, he's the one who taught me how to be such a pro. Awesome, Pip. But how about this? Let's defeat the rest of those zombies and save them once and for all. Let's do it, Louie. Let's kill the zombie army. Come on. All right, Pip, follow me. Let's go kill those zombies. Let's take them out as we walk. So let's go backwards through all of the traps and take them out. And we can eat golden apples if we need to. Louie, how are these zombies so smart? They did your quiz correctly. I know, right? That's really weird. Usually zombies are really dumb. But they are a lot smarter now. And look, they're coming up the ladder. We have to take them out. Go, go, go. Come on, we have to secure the cargo. Yep, and then JJ and Mikey's families will be able to enjoy the Amazon package in peace. Whoa, look at all of these zombies. Pip, I'm really scared. What if they kill us and then eat Mikey and JJ's brains? Be brave, Lily. We, we've got this. Let's go down the ladder and finish the rest of them off. Follow me. Go in front of the arrow machine gun, Pip. I'm coming. All right, Pip. Now stand there really quickly and I'll turn it on. <laughs> Look, the zombies are dying. Perfect. Now it's hitting me, but let me just eat this golden apple so it doesn't hurt me. Yeah. It's destroying them. Only three more left. And oh, wait a second. Pip, I don't think I see any more zombies. Did we do it? I don't know. Let's check outside. And wait, I think we did it, Pip. It's daytime. Mikey and JJ's family are safe. Woohoo! And it's all because of our awesome cargo ship. But if you guys enjoyed that video, then make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go! Let's go!